Out of all you'll spend on shooting this year, this is the most important, a membership in the NRA. Join at ShootingUSA.com and I'll pay $10 for you. It's that important. Shooting USA is brought to you by ShootingUSA.com, your resource for firearms news and information. Nothing much happens these days that doesn't get recorded in video. Obviously, we are in the video business. Ours ends up as high-definition television programs. But Smith & Wesson pro shooter Julie Golub has some different ideas for video while appearing in our video. She's got suggestions on how you can use your own video to improve your shooting technique. Here's Julie to explain how she does it. Did you know one of the best tools for self-diagnosing technique is your smartphone? You can set up your smartphone to record your shooting and coach yourself through valuable skills. And in this pro tip, I'm gonna walk you through three different ways to use your phone to become a better shot. So when I'm setting up the shot for the draw, you can use either landscape or portrait, that doesn't matter. A very small tripod is useful, or you can use a larger one. And I'm gonna set it up so that I'm on my right side, anywhere from three to 11 o'clock. This is so I can get the grab where I'm gonna pull the gun out of the holster. I can get where I connect with my grip and my full extension all on my footage so that I can stop and replay it to see if I need to correct any sort of techniques. Let's see what it looks like here. Another way to use video is to see how well your reloads go. This time you're gonna place the camera on the left side, anywhere from nine o'clock to 11 o'clock. It's going to allow you to get the extension, see where you're pulling back to, the insertion, and right back on target. Really good thing to, to practice and check. Let's see what it looks like. One of the most challenging things with reloads is seeing how you're inserting the magazine into the magwell. And I love using video to catch this angle and to see how well that process goes. One last way that you can incorporate video into your training is to record your footwork, how you're moving through a stage. Now, this isn't a hero shot for social media. This is for analyzing exactly what you're doing, getting in and out of position. So I have a single target here, and I have two different positions. I'm gonna start from the left, shoot a shot, move to the right, pass the fault line, shoot another, back and forth so I can really record how my footwork syncs up with extending onto the target for the fastest possible run. What I'm looking for here is footwork specifically. So as I approach that right hand fault line, I want my feet in a way so that I can not only shoot, but also exit. So I'm paying attention to the setup footwork there and also when I depart to get into the next position. One last tip when we're using video is use the pause function and drag the frames along so that you can stop frame for frame to see exactly your positioning for when you draw, reload, or shoot positions in your footwork. Until the next one, be safe and have fun. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you're interested in full length current episodes of Shooting USA, there's a link in the video description to our Vimeo channel. A couple bucks a month gets you access to more than 60 episodes and premieres are added the morning after they debut on Outdoor Channel.